I want to also thank you for your service to our country in Iraq and for continuing to serve our, in our Congress as Under Secretary of the Army. And we're so grateful for your support. And of course, as, as Bo's mom, I mean, it's so great to hear someone speak so lovingly about our son. So I, I truly thank you for that. And I love being here at a community college since I'm a professor at a community college. So Patrick, uh, speaking of our son Bo, four days after our son Bo's funeral, I watched Joe shave and put on his suit. I saw him steal himself in the mirror, take a breath, put his shoulders back, and walk out into a world empty of our son. He went back to work for you as the vice president. That's just who he is. And Joe has faced unimaginable tragedies. But his purpose has always driven him forward. His strength of will is unstoppable. His faith is unshakable. Because it's not in politicians or political parties, or even himself. It's in the providence of God. It's in the potential of our nation. His faith is in you. It's in us. Through it all, he learned how to heal a broken family. It's the same way you heal a country, with love and understanding, and with small acts of kindness, with bravery, with unwavering hope. Joe has spent his entire career listening and bringing people together. And Joe Biden will be a president for all people. And he has a plan to calm the chaos of Donald Trump's America. But he can't do it without you. Right now, there are so many who want to tell us that our country is hopelessly divided, that our differences are irreconcilable, that our communities are fractured beyond repair. And beneath that is another message. Your voice can't fix it. Your vote doesn't matter. But that's not who we are, is it, Bucks County? In this pandemic, we're supporting each other. We're finding mercy and grace in the moments that we might once have taken for granted. We're seeing that our differences are precious and our similarities are infinite. Democrat and Republican, rural and urban, north and south, coast to coast, you, our communities, are showing that the heart of this nation still beats with kindness and courage. We don't agree on everything, and we know we don't have to. We can still love and respect one another, can't we? Now, as most of you probably know, I'm a Philly girl. <laughs> I grew up in Willow Grove, not far from here, straight down Broad Street. And I know not all America, uh, Pennsylvanians agree when it comes to Flyers versus Penguins, Steelers versus Eagles, Sheets versus Wawa. <laughs> but there are two areas where we can all be on the same page. Number one. We all want to see the Patriots lose. <laughs> and number two is that Pennsylvania is ready for Joe Biden. <laughs> so 
Are you ready to get this done? This is it. There are no do-overs. In this election, we have to believe that our communities are stronger than the challenges they face, because they are. We have to believe that our votes matter, because they do. And we have to show up right now, put our shoulders back, and work like we have never worked before. So Bucks County, will you join us? <laughs> will you help us show that our country will never settle for less than our highest aspirations? Okay, get ready for this one. Will you stand with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? Because I know that when you do, we will win. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you to all of you for showing up now when it matters the most. And thank you for your faith in an idea that's bigger than any one of us, and that is that we will build a better country because we are going to do this together, Pennsylvania. Now I'm excited to introduce Tara Huber. I often say that educators are the best organizers. How many educators are out there? Thank you. We know, we educators know how to make something out of nothing. We fight for our communities, and we know when to use our teacher voice. And Tara, I know you are proving me right today. So come on up, Tara. Things are getting Oh, yeah, my bad. Ooh, child. Things are going to get easier. Child, things will get brighter. Someday we'll put together what was coming under. Thank you, Dr. Biden. It's an honor and privilege to be introduced by a fellow educator, a fellow Philly girl, and our next First Lady of the United States. Thank you. I am truly humbled. My name is Tara Huber, and I'm a veteran high school English teacher of 23 years in the Neshaminy School District right here in Bucks County. <laughs> As a teacher, the local president of the Neshaminy Federation of Teachers, and a wife and mother of four children, I could not be more honored to be here today supporting next, our next president, Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a champion of the working class. He has humble roots, like you and me. I grew up in Philadelphia. My father was a union plumber in Local 690. <laughs> and my mother worked as a secretary for a manufacturing company right here in Bucks County. They are proud, hardworking people who are fortunate enough to make a decent wage, have access to health care, and have a pension for retirement. Knowing the value of an education, my parents made, a college, made college education a priority for my two younger sisters and me. Joe Biden knows this is what the American working people value and need. He will prioritize creating new jobs with fair wages and guaranteed health care. Joe Biden has committed to providing two years of community college without debt for any individual looking to learn and improve their skills to keep up with the changing nature of work. As a member of a labor union, we have a seat at the table to be the voice for our members and the students we serve. The American Federation of Teachers has always been champions of high quality public education. But we are more than educators. We stand on the principles of democracy to ensure communities have economic opportunity and access to health care and public services. Joe Biden knows the work we do as a union 
and has promised us a Secretary of, of Education who actually has been an educator. Imagine that. Thank you. <laughs> With Joe Biden and his team in Washington, we know our voices will be heard and he will have our backs. That way, we can focus on fighting the good fight for our students and our members in our school districts at home here in Bucks County. Biden knows how important public education is, especially during the midst of a, public, of a global pandemic. Educators are working harder than ever. We're reinventing public education on a daily basis and working long hours to deliver an engaging educational experience to our students who are both with us in person and in the virtual setting. It's quite a juggling act to say the least. But accessibility to education and the digital divide is greater than ever. Economic barriers in public education have been exposed and this pandemic shines a glaring light on the inequities in our schools. But Joe Biden won't just demand that schools reopen. He demands a safe reopening of schools. He supports a smart, <laughs> he supports a smart and science-based return to school. And he'll listen to the experts. But that requires funding. And Joe Biden knows the HEROES Act will provide a direct funding to public schools so PPE, cleaning supplies, and COVID tests are readily available. He wants protections for educators who have to take time away from school if they are ill or have to take care of a loved one. As AFT union members, we care, we fight, we show up, and we vote. In fact, our president, Our president, Randy Weingarten, is across town with fellow AFT members rallying as we speak as a part of our cross-country bus tour to get out the vote for our kids, our schools, our communities, and for a better country for all of us. This is the election of our lives. Our profession that we love is on the line. Our right to collectively bargain working conditions, wages, and benefits is on the line. The future of public education is on the line the health, safety, and well-being of our family also on the line. It's imperative that every one of us makes a plan to vote and to vote for our next president, a president that my son Connor can look up to and that my three daughters, Kira, Haley, and Skyler, can be proud of. And it is my pleasure and my humble honor to introduce to you the next president of the United States, Vice President Joe Biden.